Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another magical video today on the channel. Today we're back with a brand new video. Today, as you guys saw by the title already, we're going to be showcasing the three current classes, aka weapons in the game, and each skill for them. So each weapon currently in the game has three skills. There's only three weapons currently in the game. We have Fist, Sword, and Wand, obviously. Each class has their own three skills. M1s, you could probably tell, clashes, everything. I'm going to be showcasing that for you guys today. So make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, obviously. To be caught up with any Mashal news, is supposed to be releasing out very soon, so just letting you guys know but hopefully this video can help you guys out wondering if you guys want to buy it or not hey man just watch it see if you like the pvp see if you like the content now there's not much more for me to say join the discord in the description if you want to check it out in the top comment you know how it is and let's get right into the video all right starting off we have fist combat this has a basic m1 combo as you guys can see right here pretty nice m1s uh the m2 is pretty unique as you guys can see right here, it makes your screen flash for a second for some, you know, cool effects for you. But it also has a decent amount of range. As you guys can see, it will hit an opponent from right here. Pretty nice, pretty good. Now, Fist Combat, as you guys can see here, is our weapon. We have Enrage Fist, Jab Rush, and Dragon Rise. We have the three moves right here. First up, I'm going to show you guys in range fist. Basically, you crack your knuckles. You have these cool words around you, around your hands, basically. And you basically do a lot more posture damage. As you guys can see here, if he blocks, hit him three times, it will block break him on the third one. Instead of usually, if you have this off, it will be four times that you would have to hit him before they get block broken. So it's pretty good for posture damage. Next up, we have jab rush, which is pretty, you know, self-explanatory. We just hit him with that jab rush. Pretty nice, pretty good, pretty good damage for a combo extender. And then lastly, we have dragon rise, which you go up rise them in the air and you daze them for a bit which makes them go or will get stunned for a couple seconds so it's pretty good to end off a combo continue a combo pretty nice let's get into a real match right here go crazy there we go i'll show you guys right here let me pop my enraged fist as we speak there we go hit him with, hit him with that dragon rise hold on let me let me go let me go in for the crazy boom m2 there we go jab rush Dragon Rise. Oh my god, I missed it. Huh. M2. This M2 is really good for a fist right here. Hold on, jab rush. Boom, boom. Oh. M2. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Dragon Rush. Jab Rush. Oh, I did not have stamina. There we go. Hold on, let me pop my enraged fist right here. Jabrush. Ooh. Oh, he, he based it out of that. Boom. Damn. Bam. Dragon Rise. Let me end this with a Dragon Rise right here. Oh, crap. I missed it. Ooh. Nice clash. Well, let me get out of that. Boom. Block. M2. Jabrush right here. Ooh. Okay. He was able to parry out of that. Nice. Well... Let me get in here for a, a dragon rise. Boom. Oh. He, he still got hit by that M2. Boom. Right here. There we go. Dragon rush. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So next up, we have one PvP. As you guys can see here, we have our one. We have our basic M1s right here. It ends off with a nice little knockback in the end right here as you guys can see we have our m2s which are also different they actually have a lot more range than let's say fist the first skill here we have is mana imbue next up we have flamboyance and magic bomb so let me show you guys right here what mana imbue does mana imbue basically just puts a mana around your sword you do a couple more damage and it will restore you a little bit of stamina over time if you have it on so it's pretty good all right editing eriku here um i just want to say that mana imbue just got changed while i'm editing this video and it actually looks like this instead every m1 actually procs a nice magic damage hit as you guys could see it's a little different it's pretty cool so just wanted to let that be known next up we have flamboyance and let me show you guys right here you go right here at like a certain distance there you go your wand does does the magic for you does the pvp for you pretty cool one of my favorite skills in the game and next up we have magic bomb right here just aim it at them boom does some pretty good damage pretty good skill all right let's get started into a nice little match right here boom parry right here oh I'm getting cooked there we go let me actually man and be right here because um it's pretty good hit him with my m2s Ooh, get out of that flamboyance Ooh, clash clash hold up another clash wait did my fl my flamboyance went off mid clash hold up okay m2 mana bomb right here boom 
Did I hit him? Oh, I did hit him. Nice. There we go. I like how our, our both of our wands are like glowing. It actually gives it a, a nice, cool little fight. Pretty good MB right here. Nice. Ooh, can't get out of that. Ooh, let me dash though. M2. Stop his M2. Magic. Block. Magic bomb right here. Ooh, he dashed out of that. Hit him right here. Nice, nice. Boom. Oh, I was about to say, no way he does not get hit by that, but he didn't. Okay. Lucky. Ooh. M2. Look at that M2. The M2 is actually pretty good. Nice. Ooh, okay. That one actually hit right there. M2. Nice. You can do some pretty crazy combos with Wand. M2. Well, let me get out of, out of the way here. Boom. Oh. I was hoping he dashed back. Nice. M2. Nope, you're not hitting me with that. There we go. Let me back up right here. Dash. Oh, I was about to say, no way he does not walk up to that. Flamboyance? Or not flamboyance. Oops, that was magic bomb. Hold up. I keep missing my parries. Let me evasive real quick. As you guys can see, my evasive is the 35 minute or second cooldown I have down there. It's actually pretty good. Lets you get out of crazy combos, but obviously you have to use it wisely. Boom. Oh, he got me low. There we go. Nice. Block that. There we go. Ooh, got him in a nice combo right here. Oh, I think we finished him off already. <laughs> All right, that was nice. Pretty good. That was it for Wand. Pretty good for long range. You guys get the gist. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, got a little dark in game now, but you guys can still see me with my nice little mark right here. But lastly, we have our sword, as you guys can see right here. M2, M1 right here, basic M1, pretty nice. Very close quarters. The M2, you can get a little distance with it, but not as much. Um, but it's pretty nice. First move we have here is Mailstorm. So let me just shoot that out right there. Pretty nice. You shoot out a nice, like, kind of like slashes, basically. It's pretty, like, long-ranged. Next up, we have Triple Strike. As you guys can see right here. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. And then lastly, we have Flash Rend. Boom. Which is one of my favorite moves. It's actually pretty cool. It reminds me of um, Onigiri from uh, One Piece. <laughs> but that's basically it for these moves right here. We might as well start a nice 1v1 right here now. M2 on this. Ooh. See here, this is when, like, moments like this is when, like, Wand can get pretty crazy on you. When you have to play so close quarters. There we go. Sorry, raining. Hold up. Give me a minute. There we go. Let me triple slash right here. M2. Get out that way. There we go. Hit him right here. When he give it. Nice. M2. Boom. Look at that. Crazy combos right here. Hit him right here. Nice. You have some decent range once you have your sword skills, but I mean, still, you have to play decently close up. Oh, he got out of the way right here. Oh. Carry that. Nice. Oh, crap. This magic's going crazy on me. Actually, I haven't even used my magic this whole time. Oh, crap. Oh. Flash run? Oh, I, mi I missed it. There we go. Huh. Boom. Maybe I should use some of my magic right here. Oh, block that. Perfect. Boom. There we go. Definitely sword feels very, very smooth, which is what I really like about sword. Nice. Huh. M2. Boom. Onigiri. I like calling it that. Oh, look at that clash. That clash was actually pretty cool looking. Nice. M2. Parry. Oh my god, he got me right there. Mailstorm. Boom. Triple strike. Nice. That ain't gonna help you out, bro. Parrying that. Oh, let me get out of that. Only Gary. Oh, I was right in front of him. Boom. Oh, hold on. I have him on a wall right here. Parry that. Ooh. Dang, that fire does crazy damage. Triple slash. Oh my god. I don't know why I use that there. Hold up. I'm actually throwing the game. Mailstorm. Ooh. M2. 
Nope. Flash Ren. Ooh, that actually hit him. Look at that. That was pretty nice. Pretty cool so far. If you're wondering what this is, by the way, it's just a mode. Every class currently right now is actually very much has its cons and its pros. You just have to see which one you like to play with the most. If you're very close quarters, you know, like going crazy, swords for you. If fist is also close quarters, but you know, is a lot more engaging, that's gonna be for you. If you like to play a little farther away, wand is gonna be the one for you. You know, it just depends on your play style. But the game has anything that you can really think of in terms of play styles for everybody. Obviously, these were just fights with just me using my skills for my weapons alone by the way we have not only those weapon skills but we have basic skills your magic skills like look at how you can just make a nice combo you could use your magic skill a sword skill like there's just so much capabilities with the game currently that you guys can make up do what you guys want to do whatever skill it is you it is what you want to do it has a lot of possibilities. The class that you want to make is all up to the holder, which is you. So, hey, if this video has helped you out to figure out what you want to do, hey, hopefully you'll be able to make the class you want when the game comes out for CC soon. But for now, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications. It'll help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys around on the next one. Peace out, everybody.